Good morning Pisces, welcome to my channel, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a timeless reading for you all. Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what's in store for you today. So, my fishies. First and foremost, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for clicking on this channel. Thank you for all of your support in the form of donations, likes, subscribes. Everything you do is deeply appreciated here, seriously. So thank you for being a part of this channel and the Pisces Club. If you're new here, the Pisces Club is a community of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, we get together basically almost every day. <laughs> all the days that I get to, all the days that I can. And we connect through these timeless readings. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> So yeah, if you would like to join us, all you have to do is subscribe. Okay, I'm taking the cards that fall on the table and I'm taking them upright. Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. I remind you guys, all of the links for all of the relevant information are going to be under this video. My website, the Abundance Blueprint course so you can heal your relationship with money, your past life regression course so you can heal really stubborn blocks that seem to not go anywhere with anything, <laughs> and um, the level 1 tarot course for those of you who would like to learn how to read the cards from scratch. There's so many cards coming out here. Let's see. Let me organize the reading, guys, before we start. Give me a minute. Okay, first card that flew out of the deck right out is the tower. So, Pisces, there's a big, big chance that right now, um, in some shape or form, you're going through major change. Change that is necessary, needed, um, that's going to be very good for you, but that might be uncomfortable to go through. The only way out is through. This is going to be very positive for you, Pisces. What I'm getting is that the devil lives in your mind right now. Like, <coughs> sorry, with the Eight of Swords and the devil here, what I'm getting is that your mind is filled with uncertainty. Or perhaps even fear about the changes that could be coming. Your mind may be bombarded with all sorts of like insecurities. What if this happens? What if this doesn't happen? What if, what if, what if? In a negative way. And this tower is actually going to be incredibly positive for you. It's going to be way easier, way nicer than you're thinking it will be. Because some of you guys are thinking about it from a space of fear. This change that is coming up, whatever that means for you. Some of you guys are experiencing change in relationships. Others of you are experiencing change, change in work or your physical body or your finances, whatever it is. This change is going to be very positive. You're not going to regret it. Um, the, risk, the risk, it's worth it if you have to take some kind of leap of faith. But your mind right now is going to present every possible fear-based thought to, I don't know, like to, to protect you, to get you ready, I guess, but you don't have to really fall into that mentality because it's a little bit much. It's a little bit unnecessary here. There is a brand new opportunity for you, Pisces. Something that the heavens are bringing down to you. This is a gift. This is something that you've been waiting for for a really long time in the physical world. So this could be maybe a job opportunity, maybe financial abundance, something related to your physical body or the physical realm in some shape or form. This is a gift. I'm seeing this um, pass passage here and it's like once you cross, it's like you're on the other side. Like everything is going to be different. It's a major breakthrough what you're going through. In a sense, you have been uh, dealing with 
perhaps a situation that has felt um, bothersome or just like a journey that has been very long in regards to something and I feel like right now you're being presented with the solution for it. I did a reading called um, Finally a Perfect Solution to a Long Standing Problem. You can find that in my channel. I think it was last week because I feel like this is related to the same thing. So if you resonated with that reading, it's very likely that you're going to resonate with this one. With the Nine of Wands here, I see someone who has been putting a lot of effort through years and years and years maybe to make something happen and you're so close and I feel like this perhaps this opportunity that the universe is giving may be that little extra push you need to cross the finish line but you may feel afraid you may feel confused your intuition here though is telling you that you are on the right path. You've got the High Priestess and the Two of Wands. Your intuition here is telling you that you are going in the right direction. You can feel it. It's a very subtle, quiet certainty within you. And you know this to be true. But the thing is, the presence of the devil in your mind space is loud. The fears are loud. The what-ifs are loud here. They could even be a little bit paralyzing with the Eight of Swords here. Self-imposed limitation. Negative thoughts, negative beliefs. So much so that sometimes you feel frozen. You don't know what to do. You don't know if you want to run <laughs> or if you want to stay. If you want to go through the change, or if you want to avoid it at all costs. You don't know if you maybe don't want the change, or do want the change. It's like, a little bit confusing, Pisces. But this is a blessing that you know intuitively you need to take. Well, that does represent the death of something. The death of a version of you. The death of life, life as you knew it. Because the change that is happening here with the tower is massive. Look at this tower. It's, it's not like you're going to be able to reconstruct the same tower and just kind of like paste what, <laughs> what fell off. You know, it's like completely destroyed. So keep that in mind. Maybe you're afraid because life as you know it is going to be completely destroyed. But is that a bad thing? Or is that a good thing? Major, major transitions. We've got the world, we've got death, the tower. I mean, this is change as profound as it gets in all levels. This is deep transformation. That the tower is non-negotiable change. Change that needs to happen. The world is cycles that are coming to an end. Completion. And the beginning of a new chapter. So is death, but in that different um, energy, you know, particular to the death card. So, no matter how you see it, Pisces, the change is going to come. The change is definitely happening here. So, you have an option. Two options. You can either jump in with a smile on your face, a leap of faith, trust, and enjoy the process. Or, allow the devil's energy to kind of like riddle you with fears and stress every point of the way. But it seems like you're going to go through it anyway. You're just not going to enjoy it all that much. But it seems like change is inevitable here. So... What you do get to control is your attitude towards it. You can either celebrate it or you can fear it. This thing, this blessing that the universe is bringing for you, this is a gift that you're going to later be able to celebrate. Later you're going to be able to celebrate this change that right now maybe you fear. 
The Three of Cups is a card of socializing, friendships, joy, celebration. And I think that this, that the universe is bringing to you, is going to give you a lot of reasons to celebrate, you know? But naturally, um, fear gets triggered because the transformation is massive. It's, it's big. This is not like a little change. This is not like... I don't know, something small. This is kind of like I'm gonna transition from a job I've been doing for 20 years into a new job or something like that. Or I'm going to move to another country. Or I'm going to finally um, complete my studies or something like that. It's like something big. And there's two people here. A Page of Swords and a King of Pentacles. Page of Swords could be um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. A rather immature energy, youthful. Could be someone who's younger than you. Or someone who feels emotionally younger to you. This person seems a little aggressive. It's like they have anger inside of them, but they don't really know why, why, you know, like, they don't really know what is that anger, you know, towards. It's like, this is an angry person, what I'm seeing here. Someone who holds resentment towards the world in some shape or form. I'm not getting the traditional meaning of the Page of Swords here at all. I'm just getting someone who... Who has a heavy heart. And they act sometimes impulsively, sometimes naively. What I'm seeing here is kind of like a child with a sword. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, you wouldn't give a sword to a child because you would know that they don't have the maturity to know what they're doing right so that's what i feel here it's like they have this anger and they have these decisions in their hand that they don't know what to do with very interesting and then we have here the king of pentacles this could be a capricorn a virgo or a taurus this person on the other hand seems very stable grounded responsible grown up Mature, decisive, respectful, strong. This could be the person handing you the opportunity. Let's say that you're being offered a new wonderful job. That's a gift from the universe. And it's coming through a um, earth sign person. Could be a Capricorn too. Or this could be just someone... In your life, who is definitely very present. In past readings, we did uh, mention the presence of a Taurus person. This could be a couple here, the High Priestess and the King of Pentacles. Or this could actually be two aspects of yourself. The very masculine, structured, strong King of Pentacles, meaning that business savvy part of you that um routine oriented physical world oriented side of you and then the high priestess which is this very feminine mystical mysterious deep energy so this could be both aspects of you or you could be dealing with a virgo a taurus or a Capricorn. For some of you, maybe you are in some kind of love triangle. Maybe you have two options, the King of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So the air sign or the earth sign. Maybe you don't know what to choose. Maybe with one of them you have history and the other one you don't. But I do see a change and I do see a closing of a cycle. Like something is being left behind. And a new thing is opening up in the physical world. Uh, yeah, in the physical world. And it is going to be highly celebrated. 
I see here three very beautiful women celebrating something. So maybe you have three friends. Maybe your family consists of three women. Maybe this is a love triangle between three women or three feminine energies. But I see a lot of reasons to celebrate with this change. Just don't let this fear, this little whispers of fear hold you back. Once you're on the other side, you're gonna laugh about this, about the fears that maybe could have stopped you if you would have listened to them. All right? So yes, Pisces, this is what I have for you, my lovelies, today. I hope that you enjoyed this reading, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, check out the online courses. <laughs> Bye.